Okay, we got a uh, left-handed Ruger Scout rifle. This video is uh, my review of a Ruger Scout rifle. There's uh, plenty of reviews on these rifles on YouTube, so I guess this is yet another review of a Ruger Scout rifle. Uh, I've shot about 200 rounds to this gun, all hand loads, and uh, so far I really like it. It's shaping up to be one of my favorite rifles. So uh, let's zoom in and we'll go uh, we'll go over this thing starting at the muzzle and work our way backwards. All right, we've got a nice muzzle break up here, or I guess more likely a flash hider. It's designed more to hide the flash than to distribute a uh, than than to uh, distribute recoil. It's got some flats on it, and you can take it off. Or the manual says you can get a uh, appropriate sized Allen head. I think it's something like a number sixty, and pull it off. Uh, got a nice robust front sight. The sight has a uh, if we, the sight has serrations here to cut down and glare off. And then it's got a got a couple of ears so that you can uh, hopefully not ding it up too bad. And there's a there's a pen there holding it in place. Nice machining around this, and uh, nice finish. It's a matte finish on this rifle. Moving forward, we we've got an aluminum Picatinny rail. Attached here, we, you can see the uh, the screws underneath the scope there holding it down, and the uh, the barrel is contoured so it's a uh, thicker here in the midsection to uh, accommodate that rail. And I've got a uh, Leopold scope on mine. This is a two and a half power intermediate eye relief. It's a FX2 scope, and it's mounted on medium Ruger permanently attached rings or Let's see, what are they called? PWR, Permanent Weaver Rings, versus the QWR, Quick Release. So uh, I guess a Scout Rifle, you might want to put a Quick Release Rings on there if you really wanted to embrace the Scout Rifle whole hog, where you think your scope might fail and you want to use the backup iron sights. Uh, I don't, at this point, I don't plan on doing that, but maybe something in the future. So the stock, uh, stock has the nice Ruger uh, checkering all around the forearm. This is a, one of the upgrades of the Hawkeye. And you can see you, uh, a lot of rifles just have it on the side panel and it's smooth on the bottom. But this has checkering all, all around. And it is sharp. It gives you a nice feel, nice grip on here. Uh, it's one of the nice things I like about the Hawkeye series. I really like the Mark II's, but uh, Hawkeye I think has some small but uh, measurable uh, improvements. A couple of uh, screws here to beef up the stock a little bit. Not sure if you really need that, but if you're going to be, uh, I don't know, really rough with the rifle, that might help. Uh, one thing I was surprised, uh, it says right on the uh, website about this, but uh, this piece, the trigger guard with the magazine release, is polymer. So that's uh, that's okay. I guess it works. Um, oh yeah, thought it would be metal, but hey, whatever. Uh, magazine release is eh, very similar to an AK style, where you push forward. And this is the uh, stock magazine. It's a pretty beefy magazine. That's 308. Holds 10 rounds. There's the writing. Accurate mag. These run for 50 or 70 bucks aftermarket if you want to buy another one. To load it, you kind of got to push down and then slide them, up, slide them in from the side. And, um, it'll get your controlled round feeding will work with it too, but it's a lot probably like a Seiko or a Tika or Remington 700 at this point because you got to slide this, you know, you got to slide the cartridge out of there with the bolt. And it takes a little bit of a little bit of a trick getting it back in there. Ah, I did it right on camera the first time. You heard, you heard the click. So sometimes I have to push. a uh, little bit of wobble, but I haven't had any feeding problems. No problems yet. I've put about 200 rounds to this rifle. I think I mentioned that. 
course it's a left-handed rifle, so uh, things are set up so you can read them from the left-hand side. Ruger Gun Sight Scout there. You got a nice rear uh, rear sight. Uh, I I prefer scopes. I have the scope, so I'm not using the sight. But it's rear aperture sight or peep sight. These are supposed to be uh, more accurate than your dovetail uh, rear sights that you see on a lot of sporting arms. Old book from the 20s by uh, Colonel Townsend Whelan says that they're twice as accurate. You know, if you and in the hands of a of a recruit, you know, the army I guess did studies where they looked at the peep sight versus the uh, traditional hunting sight with the with the V and the post and your average army recruit could shoot twice as good with one of these versus the peep or excuse me versus the v so i i like these um and of course got your lever to pull your barrel out or excuse me pull your bolt out and this standard ruger bolt one piece bolt you'll never break this thing it's it's cast this the handle is cast into the into the body of the bolt i mean this thing is i don't think you can get much stronger uh, like all Rugers, uh, very robust construction. It has the standard Hawkeye Mark Ruger 77 safety, where you got the three position safety. Uh, when the safety's all the way back, the bolt is not only locked, you know, the, there's a pin here that the safety detent pushes in right there. And when that's pushed in, the bolt is locked. But that little hand, the little arm, goes into the uh, firing pin here. So if we, you know, if you were to bump it and have it go off, there the it falls. Well, you have a good chance with the little piece in the the recess there to actually stop it. So when you're like this, your your bolt's locked in place and you're safe. Of course, this is a uh, there's a little post that uh, goes in over the inside here in the trigger. There's a shelf on the trigger. And this piece rotates into place over that to block the trigger from going back. So uh, you can... And so mid-place, you're still blocked. Trigger won't go, but you can open your, your bolt. So you're able to, to load and unload this gun, and it should not fire. Period. So I, I like that. Uh, I like a lot of the Ruger safety features. Um, I like the, the fact that they investment cast the metal and uh, hammer forge the barrels. Uh, once you investment cast and heat treat, these things are tough as nails. So, uh, I bought this rifle because I really wanted the uh, intermediate eye relief and I wanted a left hand box magazine. That's kind of fun. I don't know if I'll ever really need box magazine. I don't plan on shooting that much. Um, you know, if I if I miss a deer with five shots, I don't think the sixth is going to get it. So, uh, well, let's move on back down to the butt stock too, because the butt stock's kind of fun. Um, this is where I think uh, the Scout rifle uh, is is very nice compared to some of other Ruger rifles. Um, you've got this big, squishy buttstock. I mean, that thing is as thick as my thumb. Uh, when I shoot, I, you know, I've gone out and shot 100, 100 rounds in this in a day, and I got this nice waffle pattern on my shoulder. But hey, it was it was actually pretty comfortable to shoot all day. I was shooting in a in a t-shirt because it's warm right now. Um, and it's got these spacers here, and uh, the spacers allow you to uh, adjust your length of pull. So you could pull the spacer out and make it a what, three eighths, half an inch, half an inch shorter, or you could make it a little longer if you're a little bit bigger guy. And I'll, I'll touch on that more in, a, in just a minute here. So, uh, yeah, overall wrap up, handsome looking rifle. Not sure if you need the uh, flash hider, but if you're going to be shooting at night, it might be nice. Uh, iron sights are kind of fun. I'm not, I'm not planning on using them right now. Uh, I like the stock. Stock is real nice. And I, uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, reasonably impressed with the, uh, with the box magazine. I'll be, uh, buying one of the Ruger polymer magazines. I plan on getting the three shot so it's flush and maybe a 10 shot as well. The one thing about this magazine is 
you can't load while the mag's in place. You've got to take the magazine out to be able to load it. Um, and uh, I guess with the polymer magazines, you can load it without taking the magazine off. So that might be nice. Uh, yeah, safety, the uh, Ruger Action, great as always, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Uh, and as always, the, uh, the receiver still has the slots for the integral Ruger scope rings, which I think are pretty nice. Now, the, the rear sight, if you want to keep the rear sight on there, takes up the rear most uh, scope mount. So, you know, if you want to keep the sights on this and run a scope, you're going to be needing to get this forward eye relief scope or... You can add some of the red dots, red dot like a Bushnell TRS-25. I've got a video on that on my channel. Uh, that's a that's a nice little uh, sight. It's a hundred bucks, maybe less, uh, and it's supposed to have unlimited eye relief. So you could run a red dot on this. Uh, I don't know if you could co-witness with the uh, with the sights and the red dot. I'm not sure what the clearance is, uh, but it you know it might be something to fun to play around with. Uh, depending on what your sight options are. So let me show you the rifle that this is replacing. On the bottom here we have the uh, left-handed Scout and on the top we have the left-handed Ruger, or excuse me, on the top we have the right-handed Ruger Frontier Rifle. So Frontier Rifle was not designed to be a Scout rifle according to Ruger. Uh, they just wanted to, they put this, uh, you know, they were thinking forward eye relief, short barrel, snap shooting rifle um, nice rifle uh, I prefer the scout rifle now number one I prefer the bolt action on the left hand side because I'm a lefty but for a right handed shooter even if I you know even if this the frontier rifle was a lefty I would still prefer the the scout and it's not because of the box magazine it's not because of the barrel length which is the same it's because of the stock I really like the Ruger stock on the Scout rifle. Uh, let's take a look, close-up look at these, at the, at the stock on these two rifles. Okay, I've got to zoom in again. Left-handed Scout, right-handed Frontier, and I've tried to line them up so that they're uh, basically, you know, the the triggers are lined up, and you can see the Frontier rifle. On the top is uh, it's got a much shorter stock. This is a the Frontier rifle is patterned after the the compact rifle that Ruger had. Uh, the difference with the compact versus the Frontier rifle is that you've got a heavier contour barrel, and then you've got this Ruger number one style uh, forward scope mount there, and it. You know, Frontier Rifle, it's not no longer in production, but it, you know, it takes the integrated scope rings. And if you wanted to, you can swap some of these out, and it came with a, uh, excuse me, swap some of the screws around, and it came with a little Picatinny rail that you could put on, but um, I never did that because I had the scope. So, but, uh, you know, I, I shot the Frontier Rifle. Uh, I never fell in love with it. Part of it was the fact it was right-handed, and I wanted to shoot a left-handed gun. But the, mostly was the stock. The stock is it's just short, and if you don't get it up on your on your shoulder, it'll 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 kick you. I mean, and and with the uh, with the with the scout rifle, you've got this longer stock here. You can see that. You can see it's got a it's got about a well what full inch greater length to pull and it's adjustable you know if you're a tall guy you can add add a couple more spacers comes with two more spacers the scout rifle comes with two more spacers you know other than that they're about the same you know uh, the the stainless versus the the mat uh, you know I like stainless but I'd go with mat um, the flash hider versus uh, no flash hider you know either way I'm, I'm really either way I'm, I'm happy with either uh, Picatinny versus uh, standard, you know, probably the uh, the number one style would be would be smoother for me. You know, you don't have these uh, jagged edges to catch on stuff. And then internal box magazine versus uh, detachable box magazine. Well, like I said, I you know I'm fine with this. It, you know, a lot cleaner lines, a lot easier to carry. You won't be uh, 
snagging yourself on the ma on the uh, magazine with with an internal box magazine that's flush. So I, you know the Frontier rifle was real nice. Uh, I don't know if is is Ruger going to come out with a conversion kit so I could convert my Scout, you know, take off the take off the trigger guard and take out the box magazine and put on some of this internal hardware. I'm not sure. You know, I, I might even be able to just take it over, uh, you know, swap it. I'm not going to do that, but maybe I could order the parts and just swap it. Um, can't be that expensive. And uh, I'm not going to miss, I'm not going to miss the detachable box magazine for most of my shooting. So, both handsome rifles. Uh, but, you know, and then, and then the, 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 the optical, the iron sights on the Scout, well, that's nice, but you know what? I can't, my eyes are kind of crappy, and I, I, uh, I like a, I like a scope. And boy, with, uh, the intermediate eye relief scope, you, Target target comes up fast and easy. I mean, that's the whole point behind the Scout style, the Ford style rifle. I mean, you want to read about this, you can look up uh, Colonel Cooper and uh, and he and the and the idea with the Scout rifle and the uh, and the Scout scope, the intermediate eye relief scope, is to just have a rifle that's a snap shooter that you know it's lightweight, packs a punch. So that's why it's short. That's why uh, the barrel's short, so it's lightweight. Um, detachable box magazine to add firepower in case you need fi firepower. It's 308 because it's got to pack a punch. You know, could it be 30 out six or 270? Sure, but uh, 308. You know, that's a military round too, so you might be able to find it in Mill Serp. Huh. Um, I don't know. Great rifle. The stock really sells me on the Scout rifle, and of course the left-handed bolt sells me on the Scout rifle because I'm a lefty. Um, I like the Ford scope mount. Now, uh, Ford scope mount, I'm, I'm not going to hunt with this rifle. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to hunt with it. It's, uh, I have a 270 that I love, and, uh, with the traditional scout, or excuse me, with the traditional scope mount, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty fast with that. After hunting for a few years with it, I'm pretty fast. I can engage a target real easy with that. Uh, one of the disadvantages and I've never run into this personally, but a disadvantage with the forward scope mount is if, if you're shooting with the sun to your back, you can get glare off this lens. So, uh, I don't know, is, is that really a realistic possibility? Maybe, maybe not. So, uh, anyway, Scout Rifles, great rifle. Oh, I forgot to show you the nice gun sight logo there. Uh, what else we got? Let's, uh, let's show you the box. Scout rifle comes in a big box, and uh, what does it come with? Slot for magazine. Here's the two spacers, the two extra spacers I told you about with the Allen wrench to uh, for the for the buttstock. Comes with your standard padlock, so you can lock this thing up if you don't have a more secure location. Comes with uh, like all Ruger rifles, a pair of uh, Ruger scope rings uh i like the ruger mount i like the ruger system just got to be careful to get them lined up good otherwise and uh and they're great um and and now they even now these things even come with a torx head versus a flat head they used to come with flat head but consumers like torx now and uh even with the forward scope release or excuse me even with the forward scope on here and you can you can still fit this puppy in to the box if you wanted to store it in the box. I guess I'm supposed to take the bolt out. We'll leave it in. I had to, uh, I had to chew away some of that, but hey, you know, if I needed to move and I didn't have a, a case or if I wanted to mail this, this box still works even with the scope on. So you could, uh, keep the box. It's a nice box. It's big. It's, uh, about twice the thickness of a normal Ruger box, but hey, it's, it's beefy. And then uh, notice notice this big cutout here. Um, my guess is that you could fit a, a traditional style scope on this box still, and and still be able to use it. So I guess I haven't bought a Ruger rifle in a while, so maybe they're all coming like this now. So I guess uh, the only other thing Ruger needs to come out with now is some sort of trainer for their. Uh, 
for their scout rifle. A couple years back, I went on. I went on. I found a guy online who was uh, mounting these little uh, 22 scope bases on top of on the barrel. So I took the barrel off this and I sent it to a guy named Chief AJ, and uh, he doesn't advertise that anymore as a service, but but it's not that complicated to put a uh, uh, this uh, a little scope mount on the barrel. And just tap tap a couple of screws and put it on. So gunsmith, any gunsmith should be able to do this, and this is just a, a cheap BSA pistol scope that works. I mean, it's it's got enough range in the eye relief that that you can use it for intermediate instead of long. So, and uh, you know what, it's held up just fine for 22. So, and I, uh, you know, this setup is pretty easy to do. Like I said. I wonder if Ruger could offer uh, one of their takedown barrels with with this as an option, so you could uh, you could get yourself a takedown 1022 and turn it into a scout trainer. That'd be that'd be pretty sweet. So, yeah. so I guess this video is getting pretty long. It'll probably be my longest video out there, and uh, we'll just uh, go over it one more time. So in summary, this is a great rifle. Uh, you know, I like the uh, the best improvement that the Scout rifle has over the uh, now uh, discontinued Ruger Frontier rifle is the stock and this nice squishy bush butt pad that, that helps you out here. Um, I like the fact that it's a little bit longer and that you can adjust the length of pull. So uh, it's got all the nice Hawkeye features, you know, the, the wraparound checkering. Um, the trigger, I forgot to mention, I like the trigger on this rifle. This is stock trigger, put 200 rounds through it, no problems with the trigger. Um, this is a glass filled nylon or polymer. This is uh, the, the trigger guard. It's fine. The magazine takes a little getting used to to get it popped in reliably every time, but hey, it's no big deal. You can do it. The sights seem very usable. Sights are nice. I personally haven't used them because I like the scopes. Uh, Barrel is a medium, heavy contour, in part to fit on this Picatinny base, but hey, whatever works. Uh, nicely made rifle, nicely finished rifle. Not sure about the uh, the flash hider, not sure I need it, not sure I like the extra noise associated with it. But, uh, I, you know, you can always take it off and put on some sort of a, either a thread protector or one of these uh, Krinkoff style brakes that actually direct the muzzle blast forward away from the shooter. And uh, yeah, nice, nice looking front sight. So good looking rifle. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite rifles. I just ordered a bunch of brass and I've got it and uh, probably be getting some more bullets so I can keep loading for this rifle and feeding it. So. Uh, Anyway, we'll call it quits. Thanks for watching. Good shooting and uh, be safe.